As Earth warms under the effects of climate change, there is growing scientific evidence that air turbulence will become increasingly common. Turbulence is produced by changes in air currents which can affect the stability of planes, and an increase in high-profile incidents in recent years has thrust the issue into the spotlight. This included an Air Europa flight in 2024, which had to be diverted to Brazil after 40 passengers were injured when the plane hit unstable air. Obviously, all the bodies that were in symptoms were hit in the floor or where we were. The plane was falling, our bodies were falling down, and I was asleep, and I didn't know if I was dreaming or if I was awake, because it was the impact of the moment. We were hit, and at the moment that the plane was stabilized again, the bodies were falling. The most dangerous form of turbulence for planes is clear air turbulence, as it appears in zones without clouds and is invisible to radar. Climate change is thought to be responsible for the rise of this type of turbulence because it increases the temperature difference between the cold air at the poles and the hot air of the tropics, driving up volatile wind changes in the jet streams at the same altitude at which commercial jets fly. Severe clear air turbulence was 55% more frequent in 2020 compared to 1979, the year reliable meteorological records began. Climate change is also fueling stronger storms and hurricanes, further complicating flying conditions. To counter the impact of unstable air, researchers are developing technologies which could detect subtle shifts in air density and wind speed. Although injuries from turbulence remain low and deaths are very rare, wearing a seatbelt at all times during flights can reduce risks for passengers.